to target Australian bass and pre-fishing for an upcoming bass tournament. I've got a fishing diary, so if I fished there before, I'll look back two or three years ago, find out the same time of year, what I was using then, and just by reading the four or five notes that I've written, it jogs on memory on what, on what I should be throwing or where I should be looking. Now that I've got Insight Genesis, I always download the map for whatever location I'm going to. Sometimes I do it at home, other times I just do it on the fly. We uploaded the map, so it gave us an idea of where to start. Once we worked out a bit of a pattern, where they were off the points near the riverbeds, we'd jump between points and continually caught fish. We worked out where they were and we could sort of confidently just jump to the next spot that was the same, fish it, not have to worry about the lures I was using or anything I knew. Sort of the only thing I had to worry about was the depth of the fish on the sounder. I knew the spot was going to be right, the lure was going to be right, so just keep changing spots. Beautiful. I'm using the Inside Genesis contour maps to locate key points to start and then use my sounder from then to sand around those ledges and drop offs. You always find the fish somehow reflect back to the riverbed so they use whether they use that as a way of travelling or whether that's just because where the, where the bait seems to travel. So you spend a lot of time looking for the riverbed and then looking for a point or a flat or something that's near there. The size of that thing. So in the past, even when you're on flat and you're associating yourself with the riverbed, before you'd, you'd use GPS marks all the time. Like you'd, every time you went off the drop off, you'd mark it, mark it, mark it, and then you'd, you'd have to keep looking at GPS and reference where, which way you were drifting, or even your count time on your plastic. And now you can sit where you want to, look at the split on your sounder, and you can see I've got to cast right all this way along. Now with Inside Genesis, I don't, I don't need to do half as much looking. I know where the riverbed runs through the dam and I can straight away, I could probably almost from before I put the boat in, pick five key spots that I know I want to fish. There might be flats at a certain depth or there might be three points in a row that are on the riverbed, so I can go straight there, save a lot of time. All the information that I get out of Insight Genesis with the contours, the drop-offs, it's essential to me. Every day I spend 50 to 60% of my time just looking at this thing. 